Hey guys, it's Christina with Dating Snippets and today I'm going to talk about the 10 biggest mistakes that men make on a first date. I will say please watch until tip number eight because that is my top tip. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first mistake is not really planning the first date. So with the way things are nowadays, most first dates probably get scheduled via a dating app. So I will say girls tend to lose interest over time. So if you drag out the conversation for more than a week, she might kind of lose interest. So not planning the date right away and then not proposing something is a mistake. So you might be the kind of guy that waits for her to suggest meeting up for a drink or her to suggest something. Girls will do that, but ideally you want to plan it. So what I recommend you do is after a day or two of talking with her on the dating app, say, Hey, would you like to go on a date? I'd love to take you out. Would you be interested in, and then give her two or three options, probably two. Would you be interested in grabbing coffee or going out for drinks? Would you be interested in dinner or going out for lunch? Would you be interested in going for a walk in the park or checking out the local museum exhibit that's in town this weekend? Just go ahead and suggest something for a first date. It makes a much better first impression. The second mistake that men make on a first date is dressing sloppy or just not dressing up. So she'll probably dress up for her first date, so you wanna dress up as well. So don't wear gym clothes, for example. Don't wear a t-shirt with graphics on it. Just make sure that you shower ahead of time, look nice, and wear like a polo shirt and khakis or a collar shirt and slacks. Just dress up, think business casual, or if your work had a function, what would you wear to work? No need to wear a suit unless you're taking her to like a steak restaurant for dinner, um, but just dress up, don't be sloppy. The third mistake that men make on a first date is showing up late. So I know that most women, I feel like most women tend to always, always be late, but you should be on time. Ideally, if I were you, I would plan on showing up five minutes early. You never know how long the Uber might take to call, what the parking situation is, whether you might get lost or traffic. Just plan ahead and show up to the date early. If you're getting drinks, you can always go to the bar and order a drink while you wait for her. It's just a much nicer feeling for a woman when you text her, at, let's say the date's at 7.30 p.m. If you text her at 7.28 and say, hi, I'm at the bar in a blue collared shirt, looking forward to seeing you, or something like that, it's just nice to show up ahead of time versus her beating you to the place and waiting on you. Okay, the fourth mistake that men make on a first date is not asking her about her. So make sure you wanna learn about the woman. So have a list of questions. It can be as easy as like, how was your day? How's your week going so far? Those are really nice, like casual questions to start with. What are you up to this weekend? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, you enjoy, I don't know, she plays tennis? Where do you play tennis at? How long have you been playing tennis? What got you into tennis? What do you like most about tennis? So just ask her questions about what she likes to do for fun and then ask follow-up questions to keep the conversation going. Um, the fifth mistake is not touching the girl, which sounds kind of weird. Um, but women that are a physical touch kind of person like to get touched and by touched I mean something subtle it could be when you are leaving the restaurant you just touch her lightly on the back or you touch her thigh once now if she is giving you body language that I am not interested in you if she is turning her body away from you versus towards you don't do this but if she is leaning into you a little bit if her body started facing the bar 
and is now facing towards you, that's her sign of saying, hey, I like you. Or it could be as simple as like your knees touching once for a second. So very, very subtle, but just something to try. Um, the sixth mistake that men make is not paying on a first date. Don't hate me for this, but I really think men should pay for a first date. If you asked her out, then you should pay. Now, if she asked you out, it's a little bit different. It depends on which state you live in, which part of the country you live in, the city, the culture. There's all of these variables and it's so confusing. But in general, I just say always, always, always pay for the first date. Now I get that dating can get expensive. So if that's the case, totally get it. Just suggest date options that are cheaper. So you can always take a girl out for ice cream or take her out for coffee or breakfast or just suggest a play date with your dogs. All of those are relatively inexpensive or free um, date ideas. So just make sure you always pick up the tab. Don't make her pay for a first date. The seventh mistake that men make on a first date is after the date and it's uh, not texting the girl. So I think nowadays it's very common with texting to text the person after the date and say, hey, I had a really, really good time with you. Girls like that positive reinforcement. Don't wait for her to say it. She might, but she might be waiting for you to say it. So go ahead and if you like the woman, let her know. It's a simple text was so good seeing you tonight, had a lot of fun, would love to see you again. That's it. I had so much fun with you tonight, hope you got home safe. Something like that, short, sweet, and just lets her know that you had a good time. The eighth mistake, and this is the fa not not seven, eighth mistake, and this is the biggest, biggest, biggest mistake that men make on a first date, is not planning the second. So ideally, if you can find something that you're both interested in, you can hint during the date like, oh, you like going to the museum? I would love to take you sometime. Or what are you doing next weekend? If she says I'm free, oh, I would love to do something with you again. Now this can be kind of ballsy and you have to be a little bit more used to being direct. So if that's the case, no worries, but just make sure that within a day of the first date, like if you'd go on a date with her on Thursday, I would text her on Friday and you're like, Friday is the next day. I'm like, yes, Friday is the next day. With texting so much nowadays, women want an immediate response. So text her the next day and be like, hey, I had so much fun with you. Can I take you on a second date? Are you free next week, Tuesday? next week, Thursday, propose something within seven days, ideally. Women love, love, love not waiting around. They will get worried, they will lose interest. I'm like generalizing here, but in general, women like to be asked for the second date soon after the first date. So no need to wait. You won't show up as being like over eager or anything. You'll just come across as confident, you know you like her and you go after what you like. So that's my biggest tip for you men. I think a lot of men are like, oh, I didn't get a second date from the girl. And it's like, well, did you ask her for a second date? <laughs> did you ask her for a second date soon after the first date or did you wait two weeks? Because if you wait two weeks, she's gonna assume that she's just a backup option and you don't want that. So that is it. All right, so those are the top eight mistakes that men make. The last two tips aren't really mistakes, they're just tips to ensure a better first date. The first tip is choose a place that is close to where she lives. Women usually don't like driving and we don't like traveling very far. So if you know what neighborhood she lives in, ideally suggest a restaurant or a bar or a coffee shop that is close to her. And then the second tip for a great first date is to offer to walk her home. Now she might not take you up on this offer, but if she walked the date, offer to walk her to her front door. Um, you could even say, can I take you to your front door? That way she knows you're not trying to go upstairs with her. Um, or even be like, oh, did you, can I walk you to your car? 
you called Uber, okay, I'll wait for you to call your Uber and then I'll call mine. Just make sure that she gets safely home and offer to walk her to wherever she parked or wait for her Uber if possible. She'll probably say yes to that, hopefully. So that is it. Those are my top 10 first date mistakes, first date tips for you men out there. If you have any questions about dating, leave a comment below. I'll give you my advice or my piece of um, wisdom. It's only one woman's advice, but it is better than nothing. And I think what I think is generally what other women think too. Anyway, if you thought this was helpful, please subscribe and have a great day.